uh, we're very honored to be here. We are a team, my name just happens to be the team we submitted the name under. Uh, our team is standing here, includes myself, Mark Schimente, who's uh, led uh, 80, um, 80 uh, community meetings, 40 neighborhood groups, 10 districts to recreate the plan from neighborhoods up, like New Orleans and Nashville. Um, Yvonne and Carlton, who will speak about how to implement these plans from funding strategies. We've worked the last few years uh, in Harlem building the largest sustainable, affordable housing in Harlem, uh, approved by the community group on the first vote. Uh, we're also involved happily today with the adjudicated property uh, with ACORN. Uh, Dr. Robert Collins, born and raised uh, in um, uh, Gentilly, uh, a member of a team, a professor of urban planning. Richard Campanella, a great biographer, has written the books, a geographer uh, on the city of New Orleans, uh, trusted by all the teams here for his understanding of research. Michael Haggerty, a brilliant student from Harvard who has spent six months working on Mid-City and other areas. Uh, Wayne Troyer, architects and planners who have uh, built and renovated your homes around your city. Uh, Wagner and Ball, um, honored to have them who have worked on neighborhood planning and plans for St. Bernard and uh, for transportation, uh, particularly evacuation plan. I, I live in Lower Manhattan, I will talk about that. Uh, Arup is currently doing a evacuation plan for my neighborhood for 600,000 people for a man-made flood as we have hurricanes and for a dirty bomb. Um, I'll start with the first slide. Um, um, uh, we work and live in New York um, uh, for the past five years. Uh, I've dedicated my life to replanning Lower Manhattan. Um, my friend lost her husband. This is very personal. My friend lost her only son. Um, for five years I worked in Lower Manhattan and uh, now uh, I am uh, here since September 1st trying to help with your neighborhood. Um, we live here, we work here, our children go to school here. We want to help you with your homes. We want to help you with your jobs. We want to help you with your education. We want to protect your neighborhoods and your families. Um, this is a dedication recently of the New Jersey 9-11 Memorial. Uh, I'm helping 1,000 families get back on their feet. It's not the same. 16 acres in New York, 116,000 16, acres in New Orleans. Um, I've been called by the New York Times as the man who listened. I'm proud of that. I'm also the man who makes the city uh, rethink again. I'm here to help you. This is your plan. This is your neighborhood. This is your city. If you're from the West End, we're here to help you. If you're from the Vietnamese neighborhood, as my students went on, we're he here to help you. If you're from Uptown, if you're from Downtown, if you're from Mid-City, if you're from Central City, if you're from Holy Cross, Bywater, any neighborhood, any district, we lead our lives in public service to help uh, neighborhoods rebuild. We're working in the South Bronx, uh, a neighborhood that we helped rebuild. We're working, again, in um, different parts of, of the um, city. Uh, this is, uh, back one, please. Um, this is a neighborhood plan uh, that shows different uh, places for evacuation and neighborhood centers. Our thesis is that if you have a neighborhood center that you trust, this is just a study we did, then instead of putting 20,000 in one place, you have a, a neighborhood center where you can go in safety and trust for um, evacuation and uh, uh, planning. Uh, we're currently working with the Holy Cross neighborhood as part of Global Green uh, for a neighborhood plan. Fred, well, we're working on, with Fred on a few projects right now, but our whole focus in our company is how do you rebuild and how do you build urban communities? How do you build so that they're sustainable? 
For us, the discourse about the sustainable is not only about the environment, but it's ultimately about people. It's about economics, it's about culture, and it's about retail. It's about creating the fabric that makes communities whole. What we bring to the table is varied strategies for what we're doing called tiered and layered financing so that you can take advantage of those things that are in the market to create new buildings and new facilities and new communities. So frequently when we talk about rebuilding a community, we think about housing. But for us, the issue is really habitat, is how do we create communities that support human activity? How do we take advantage of the financial institutions that have been created? I think one of the incredible things is, in spite of the bureaucratic abyss, um, the financial investment opportunities that have been created through GoZone financing, the Recovery Act, planners, we have planners that work with us, we work with architects, but ultimately, we think we are a company that gets to the place where the rubber meets the road, where we can take broad concepts, broad visions, and translate them into things that we can work with our financial partners um, to make sure it actually gets built. Thank you. Uh, bringing funding strategies to planning is one of the distinguishing attributes of this team. And another one is some of these slides, which I'm showing you right now. Um, I'm not an urban planner. I'm a geographer in my day job at Tulane. I uh, spatially analyze uh, physical science, social science phenomena. And my, my real love in the evenings, I, I study the historical geography of this city and some of the maps that you're seeing right now is what will be contributing to the planning process here to put things in historical and geographical context and really to mine the past for good ideas. Think of how many good ideas we're now resurrecting, uh, raised housing, municipal markets, streetcars. Um, so uh, we'll, we'll be, um, uh, looking at those patterns of the past, contributing that to the, to the plan, and like to close on on three promises that we will fill in the gaps in those neighborhoods who are have not been fortunate enough to do this grassroots planning. We even synthesize all those neighborhood plans into neighborhood plans. And for those of you who have been doing this incredible grassroots, this really unique phenomenon over the past six months of grassroots neighborhood planning, we will honor and respect the work you do, you've done and get out of the way if that makes the process better.